It was three whole years after the passing of Audrey Phillips' husband, Glindwer, when she stumbled upon something quite unexpected. Her husband had kept a big secret from her for over 60 years. Suddenly, in an unexpected turn of events, she found out something about her husband that didn't seem to match the man she thought she knew. But before we start, make sure to subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. Their remarkable story was initiated in a local bar where they came quite often and where they first locked eyes more than 60 years ago. Audrey and Glindwer were just young adults then, but from the moment they met, it was an instantaneous connection. When Glynn first approached Audrey, she had a feeling that he had something mysterious about him. But apart from this mysterious feeling, Audrey also felt a swift sense of comfort around him. As their love story evolved, Audrey and Glynn grew closer, and before long they became a happily married couple. They were inseparable and deeply in tune with each other throughout their life journey. Yet after a few months of marital bliss, a significant announcement from the doctor altered their lives forever. Audrey had begun experiencing mild, persistent pain, which led her to seek medical advice. The doctor's visit was unexpected and timely, as Glynn had just returned from one of his mysterious excursions when this incident took place. As they sat in the doctor's office, the professional looked at them with a certain gravity. He was about to deliver news that would dramatically alter the course of their lives. In time, the doctor revealed the incredible news Audrey and Glenn were soon to become parents. So after another couple of months, they joyously welcomed their son Jake into their lives. Their happiness was full, even though Glenn's work often demanded long hours away from home. Audrey would sometimes ponder over his secretive trips, curious about the nature of his work. One day, Glenn headed out for a walk. He insisted that he and Audrey would have to move to a different location and soon, he said they would have to leave in less than a week. The sudden demand to move left Audrey feeling disoriented and upset. The town they lived in was home to all her friends and loved ones. In the midst of the conflict came a new pressing issue that neither Glynn nor Audrey had seen coming. It all happened one evening. Audrey was standing in the doorway trying to explain to Glynn that leaving their town would be a mistake when she felt a piercing pain. Upon learning that she was expecting again, Audrey was overjoyed at the prospect of bringing a beautiful baby girl into the world. The desire to have the baby was enormously strong in Audrey, but at the same time she was very uncertain about Glynn's feelings on the matter. He was behaving a bit odd lately, and as he had told her less than a week ago, he wanted them to move to a different location as soon as possible. Audrey and Glynn made the decision to proceed with the pregnancy, but that meant putting off the move for now. Glynn poured his energy into caring for his growing family. Audrey noticed that his mysterious trip seemed to be less frequent. And one day, to Audrey's surprise, Glynn came into the room because he had very important news to pass on to her. Glynn had a change of heart and no longer wanted their family to move. His reason was that while helping Audrey take care of their two children, he realized that it was not easy raising two children and that they would need all the support they could get. The couple went on to live a happy life together, nurturing their children and celebrating their unwavering love for each other. As the years passed and the couple got older, Glynn's health started getting worse. His hands often began to shake uncontrollably and he had more and more difficulty walking. With a heart set on making the most of their remaining time together, Audrey and Glynn came together and strived to fill their days with precious memories. The bond between Audrey and Glynn was truly exceptional. They had been lovers and partners for over six decades, making them true soulmates. So naturally, Audrey grappled with the heart-rending loss of her husband. She obviously had a lot of trouble dealing with his death, but she had no idea that it would only get harder after she discovered his secret. Even his clothes still hung in the exact same place in the closet as the final days before his death. However, she knew this could not go on indefinitely. Eventually, three years after his death, Audrey gathered the courage to clean up his belongings. Even though cleaning up Glynwee's stuff was an emotional roller coaster for her, she had managed to clean up almost everything in the house that belonged to Glynwee and only kept the few items that she truly was unable to throw out. Only one drawer was left. This drawer belonged to Glynn and was located in his personal office where he indulged in his love for writing. 
Besides his work as a civil engineer, Glenn had a passion for writing many things. Although Audrey and Gindwer have been together for more than 60 years and shared basically everything they ever had, she never had a look into this drawer and was wondering what she would encounter. She decided that it was time for her to open the mysterious drawer now. Audrey's eyes widened as she took in the sight, her heart beating fast with excitement. The drawer was filled to the brim with documents and after taking a look at them, Audrey realized that she had no idea what they were. But Audrey had never seen or heard this name ever before. Who was this person? And how were they connected to Glenn? One of the documents she found showed the results of a memory test. The results showed that the boy who had taken the test had an exceptionally good memory, especially in the area of remembering pictures and maps, a so-called photographic memory. But what did this have to do with her husband, Glenn? Shortly after, she found another remarkable document in the drawer. It was a letter with a statement that the decision was taken to pull the boy out of school. The letter was from the year 1944, and the reason that was given for this rigorous decision was his photographic memory. Audrey realized that the boy only was 13 years old at that time, exactly the same age as her husband Glenn was in 1944. This has something to do with her husband. She continued her search for new information in the documents to find out exactly what was going on and who the boy was. When she had almost reached the bottom of the pile of papers, she came across a document that was even stranger than anything she had seen that day. The document was about a secret operation called XX and a counter-espionage project. She still couldn't place it, and she had no idea what this had to do with her husband. Then she saw a little note with a telephone number. Would this lead to an explanation of all she found? Audrey was suspicious. She knew the phone number was a lead that she had desperately hoped for, but she was nervous to get the truth. Audrey decided that she had to call the number she had found in Glenn's drawer, but she would not receive any answers just yet. The phone kept ringing, but nobody picked up. She tried calling another time, but without success. Later that night, Audrey was sitting in her chair in the living room watching TV, when suddenly she heard a noise. Her phone was ringing. She quickly looked at the screen and recognized the number. It was the same number she had tried calling earlier that day. Audrey's heart was beating in her chest as she answered the phone. She heard a dark, calm voice asking, Am I speaking with Audrey Phillips? Let's meet tomorrow, the man said. I will explain everything. Audrey had not known what to expect when she first called the number, but this certainly hadn't been it. Who was this man? Did he know Glynn? And how did he even know who she was? When the doorbell rang the next day, Audrey knew it was the man she had spoken to on the phone the day before. When she opened the door, she was surprised to see a man who was about the same age as her husband, Glenn. For some reason, she wasn't frightened by him, and so she invited him inside. After she made both of them a cup of tea, they sat down, and the man started talking. What he told her next completely shook her world. The man had known Glenn very well, perhaps even better than she had known him. The man had a very serious and even sad look on his face as he spoke. Audrey, I have worked with your husband for over 30 years, and there is something important about his life he never told you. Glynn wasn't the man you thought he was. He continued, Glyndwer was a very talented man. He was incredibly smart, which was discovered at a very young age. You know, the times were troubling, and there was a lot of tension in the world. Both he and I were recruited by the army to be trained, but we would not just become soldiers. We were selected for a special program. Only our fathers were allowed to know of this, and we had to keep it secret for everybody we ever met, including you, obviously. Some missions were getting very dangerous. One time, Glindweir had to extract a fellow spy from a boat to pick up a load of arms. He had to take out the searchlight on one of the two gunboats and make sure he nor the other spy was captured. But you'll be surprised when this took place, the man said, smiling. Do you remember that one time when Glenn had gone out for a walk and he came back all stressed out and worried? I think he told you that you needed to move to another location immediately. From what I remember, you weren't too happy about it, the man said with a playful smile on his face. Well, he was just trying to protect you. Our captain had told him that somebody was close to blowing his cover. This obviously stressed Glenn out because if his real identity were exposed, he would be in grave danger. And so would you and Jake. He made an agreement with our captain and luckily, he was able to retire very quickly. All he wanted was to spend more time with you and your children. 
Audrey was completely in shock and couldn't believe that she hadn't suspected or discovered anything at all in all these years of marriage. Glenn had left her a huge check for the money he had earned as a spy. They always lived a sober but happy life, and it turned out that Glenn had always saved the money he had earned as a spy for when the time would come that he was no longer there. It was a gift for his wife and an apology for lying to her all his life. The man stayed in touch with Audrey and her family, and whenever they saw each other, they would reminisce about the past. Audrey is doing great now. She has donated the money to the Veterans Relief, and she is immensely proud of her late husband and others who did similar work. She often tells her grandchildren about Glenn and the secret life of courage he lived, and together the family is doing a great job honoring Glenn's memory.